What is going on everybody? Noble here with you guys today. In today's video, we're going to be checking out the onboarding process for the Twitch affiliate program. Now, a lot of the information that we're fixing to talk about is actually going to be private information for myself as well as for you. But I think that just showing you what the process is actually like before you actually get to the affiliate program is something that you guys should know. And that way you can kind of know what to expect. So uh, in order to get to affiliate, uh, you actually have to have these four things first. You need to reach 50 followers. You need to stream for at least eight hours in the past 30 days. You need to at least stream on seven different days in the past 30 days. And you need to reach an average of three viewers. So as you guys can see, I've already got all that. Once you complete all these, you'll get this at the top of your dashboard. So from your home screen, you're gonna click on your icon on the top right. And then you're going to click on creator dashboard now from creator dashboard that's where all this will show up but if you also need somewhere else to find it you go to insights and then achievements and that'll show you path to affiliate which is what we're trying to work on right now so we've completed this and it says congrats you're eligible for affiliate status begin your affiliate onboarding so we're going to click on get started and again all of this stuff is very personal information. So I'm not gonna show you everything. I'm just gonna talk about why everything is there. So the first thing that you need to do, we've actually made a video for this already. I'll leave it linked in the description. You need to have two-factor authentication already enabled on your Twitch account. I've already done that. We've made a video, go check that out if you haven't done that yet. And then once you're done with that, you can go to affiliate onboarding. We're gonna click on this. And the first thing that you need to do is your payout registration. Begin your payout registration. We're gonna click on this. And then again, this is the personal information that you guys will need to put in. It says, Twitch is a subsidiary of Amazon and will use some Amazon tools to help you get paid, including the forms on this page. Please fill them out and use the following guidelines. You guys can check all that stuff out. I've already done it myself. This form must match your tax information correctly or exactly, and any inconsistencies may cause your delays for your payout registration approval. Don't worry, you'll still be able to edit things on your page later if your information changes. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and fill this out. You guys would fill this out and this is for your tax purposes. They need to know your name, uh, your email, and uh, con confirm your email and then your company name if optional. They also are gonna need your permanent address, the city that you live in, and all that other personal information. Again, this is for tax purposes. You need to fill this out. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this out myself and then we'll move on to the next page. All right, so once you've filled out all, all that information, we also have a Twitch affiliate agreement, a bunch of legal mumbo jumbo here, but I really do suggest that you guys read the Twitch affiliate agreement. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and highlight one specific part for you guys. All right, so the main thing that I wanted you guys to know is that if you apply for the Twitch affiliate program, you do need to pay attention to this. This is very important. And if you don't abide by this, you will not be allowed to be in the Twitch affiliate program. Uh, the live content exclusivity right here. But basically what this means is if you're in the Twitch affiliate program and you're choosing to stream to Twitch, any content that you stream for the first 24 hours that that content is on your channel, you cannot put that anywhere. That means you cannot multi-stream. That means you cannot uh, post your stream anywhere else, including to YouTube or any other places that you could live stream to for at least 24 hours whenever that goes up. I just wanted to make that abundantly clear to you guys because there's a lot of people that don't know this and then they get kicked out of the affiliate program not understanding why that is. So if you guys agree with that, all you have to do is press agree. Now, step three of four is tax interview. Submit your tax information and we're gonna go ahead and fill this out. So let's go ahead and click on this real quick. And this is gonna have a lot of personal information. Like I said, mine is completely blocked out. Just make sure that all of your information is accurate and up to date. Make sure it is all true because this is what they're gonna use again for tax purposes, as well as to send out your payments once you reach the threshold for you to be able to be paid out. And then you can go ahead and press open royalty tax interview form. All right, so once this is opened, uh, tax information interview about you, what is your tax classification? For me, in this case, this is gonna be an individual. I don't have a business for this. So it's gonna be individual. Uh, for your US tax purposes, are you a US person? Yes, of course. Now, once you click yes, you're gonna get all this personal information. Again, make sure that it is 100% accurate. You've also got this area here. It says, I consent to provide electronic signature for the information provided for the IRS or the W-9 form. So once you're done with that, you're gonna go ahead and put your full name in here and then hit save 
and preview. All right, so once you're done with that, you guys can see it says uh, the first one has been completed. Now you have to do the second one. It's not started yet. So we're going to go ahead and click begin service tax interview for the second time. And uh, actually, this one was really easy because I think it pulls from the first one. So it says your tax information is complete. No additional information is required for the service tax interview. You've already provided your tax information in the royalty tax interview. So you can go ahead and press done. And you guys can see here that both of these are now completed. So we can hit continue and move on to the fourth step. Now this is going to be your payout method. It says here, here you can choose how you want to be paid. You must accrue at least $100 in revenue before you're eligible for a payout. Click set payout method. And again, most of your stuff here is going to be personal information. I've got all of mine blocked out, but again, I'm not going to be a company. I'm an individual. And then all of the rest of your stuff here, you should fill out on your own. Make sure it's accurate. Make sure it's up to date. Once you're done with all that, you can press next. And then we're going to choose what it is you want. You can choose a direct deposit. You can choose wire transfer, check, PayPal, or hold my payments. I'm actually going to choose hold my payments, but I am also going to be paid out by PayPal. Now it's going to be a while before I actually hit a hundred dollars that I make on my Twitch channel, because again, I just now got the affiliate thing. I'm not going to have a whole lot of subscribers. If I'm being realistic, I'm not going to get a whole bunch of subscribers immediately. So it's probably going to be a while before I hit that $100 payout. So I'm going to choose hold my payments and it says your payments will not be released until a valid payment method is selected. Once again, we can also go ahead and set up whatever it is that you want, whether it's your bank, wire transfer, PayPal. But for right now, I know I'm not going to make a hundred dollars on Twitch for a very long time. So I'm just going to leave it on hold my payments and then click on next. Now, all that's done now, uh, it's kicked me back to the stream key and preferences. Uh, we do have affiliate here, so I think that should be good. It says onboarding. Uh, onboarding is already done payment method so it looks like we should be good subscription names uh let's see channels yeah so we now have subscriptions available to us uh we'll probably have emotes that i can go ahead and make uh one instant emote uploads find out how to okay so there's a lot more stuff that we actually have access to now that we are in the affiliate program uh, it happened almost instantly once again just make sure that all of your information is up to date and uh is accurate once you're done with that, uh, you'll be able to be part of the affiliate program. Once again, make sure that you're not going to be streaming anywhere else except for Twitch for at least the first 20 to 24 hours of your stream. And uh, you guys should be good. I'm not sure if this actually helped you guys out because I was not able to show you exactly what you need to put in each spot. But I do think that it's important for you guys to know what to expect whenever you're working your way up to affiliate. So hopefully this helps you guys out. If it did, please let me know in the comments down below. And as always, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. And I'll see you guys on the next video.